can we get Jinzo? Let's find out. What's going on YouTube? This is BM Cool247 and I have a special treat for y'all today. Pharaoh's servant. This guy currently of April 2021. Uh, if you go on eBay for the Korean version is going for about $100 plus shipping. I got this for about $70 plus shipping and taxes and that came out to about $100 anyway. So uh, you guys are in for a special treat. I wanted to uh, open this for the channel today. And I wanted to first do the quick giveaway that I promised from the last uh, video of Labyrinth of Nightmare from last week of these four cards here. All you needed to do was leave a comment of your favorite card um, in the comment section. And there are there were two comments. There was uh, Claire Quartz and Hans Galandez. Shout out to you, both of you. And uh, if it's heads, it will, I will go ahead and ship these out and mail these to Claire. And if it's tails, I will mail these to Hans. So let's go ahead and do the flip. And as you can see way over here, it is tails. So I'll be shipping this out to you Hans over there in the Philippines because I did not specify whether it was going to be US or, or uh, you know, uh, international or not. So I'll be figuring out how to ship it over to you because I've never done that before. So these four cards will be on its way to you. So thank you both for entering the giveaway. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dig into Pharaoh's Servant, shall we? All right. So Pharaoh's Servant was one of the first packs, of course, released for Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and this was released, Booster Box was released, at least the TCG one was released, October of 2002 so we were this was a long time ago almost almost two decades ago actually so some of the cards we can pull from this me um, some of the sought after ones obviously Jinzo is the oh my gosh this first pack is not opening holy and I've been exercising a little bit so um <laughs> Jinzo is one of the sought after cards. Also cards like Thousand Eyes Restrict. Seriously? Wow. Uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. Um, Imperial Order, which is one of the first uh, non-monster cards that are secret rare. It, it is the first non-monster card that's a secret rare print. And we're starting off with a super rare limiter removal. Not bad. Got some other old school cards there. So let's go ahead and set those to the side and set our hollows right there. Let's see if. Oh man, they are. This is way harder to open than the the other hard to open packs I've been opening already. Oh, and we have another super rare. Are they gonna put these all hollows in the front? We got Fairy Meteor Crush. If there's another hollow right here, then they are doing that. Let me be more aggressive. There we go. This guy again. Bite shoes or something. Spike bot. And this is just a rare vampire baby or something like that. All right. Um, call the haunteds in here. Premature burial. Um, and those are just good reborning cards. Ooh, man, we're on, we're on a lot of hollows here. Mirror wall. That's a good one. So yeah, let me know what your uh, favorite card from this set is as well. Uh, I don't have a giveaway ready for this one, but um, just let me know what your favorite card is. You know, it doesn't always have to be. Wow, that's awesome. This is an awesome goat card. Nobleman of Cross Out. Super rare. So yeah, they're really loading it up with the, the hollows for this one. And the DNA surgery is a really good comment as well. It's like imitation. Hayabusa Knight. I have a deck profile for my GOAT format based around him. Because he has the ability to attack twice. 
no other limiting besides fit factors besides his attack being only a thousand wing weaver so yeah you're not guaranteed a rare either that's pretty nostalgic card right there so i only bought one of these boxes because they're a little pricey gravity bind that's one of the best rares you can get from this set really annoying rare one of the most annoying cards back in the day I'm sure we all know overdrive Ooh, this is a good uh common um thousand eyes idol see compared to some of the other packs i've opened this one I actually know a lot of the names to them because I've, I've opened a good amount of these back in the past prohibition um of the original packs of course and then i played with a lot of the original cards who a lot of us have spike bot again i don't know what that one is something rat shallow grave that one's a good one for your empty jar decks or your defensive deck, you can reborn a face down defense. Um, time seal, duh. Some bats, bubonic rat, I think that was. And light of intervention. I need to just like get these out as like flashcards, honestly. I wanna I wanna memorize some of these names. Is this skull invitation? 56? Yes it is. One for one. If we're starting to count score right now. Island Turtle. Let me go a little bit faster. There's a lot of packs here. Man, these are really hard to open. These guys these guys have like a different shine than the rest of the Korean packs I've opened. So white tiger. Uh, 51 rare. 51's Michizur. Totally butchered that name. It's a metal detector card. Three. Oh, that's a lot of cards in this set. It's like 104 cards or something. The all-seeing white tiger. Not just any white tiger. Four-star ladybug. Another DNA surgery. Maybe I can get a play set of those. You can use that for like insect barrier or like a, a warrior control deck. Cards are good against warriors. Uh, morphing jar number two, and I got my uh, play set of DNA surgery. I'll do a recap at the end, of course, of the rares and the the hollows. If you like to just go to the end, but good thing comes to those who wait. Gradius. Oh, this is a fun card. Um, ground collapse because it it uh, disallows your opponent or usually your opponent from using two spots on their field which is pretty uh, pretty good in control decks or not pretty good but it's okay in control decks it's not doesn't say a lot of play prohibition but that with like ojama trio can lock them out of playing monsters and and of course i'm referring to the goat format a lot of cards get around things nowadays but i mean i mean that could even be good in the uh the meta today you know if you can draw those two cards Solemn Wishes. That's our first one of those. Shallow Grave, number two. Not like Morphing Guard, number two. That was our second Shallow Grave, I should say. Right Shoes. Ooh, another common um, Thousand Eyes Idol need the uh, thousand eyes restrict to uh, fuse or relinquish to fuse with that guy spike bot I haven't had a hollow in a while so let's see if we can get some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh luck here part of the cards that's a play set Ooh, we got nobleman of not cross out of extermination I believe that is you could banish a face down spell or trap and if it's like a trap, then you banish it from yours as well. Kind of like Noble Minocross out. 
It has to be face down, which is why no one really plays it as much. We got a rare number 25, and I'm reading the number because it's right there. Number 25, that one is uh, Force Requisition. Hmm. minutes in here um, I use this card actually uh, 24 which is right above appropriate that card is good for drawing cards when your opponent draws cards you can draw cards too all right we have about eight or nine packs left haven't hit oh well, we might have like a couple hollows here or there that I think um, I would still expect, but we'll see. We did burn through a lot of them in the beginning. Light Force Sword. For a rare. Um, hmm. Some, the Piercing Damage Guy, number 91. Mad Sword Beast. He's a dinosaur, but I know there was no like dinosaur in his name. Numerous Healer. Insect Guy. Island Turtle. Skull Invitation. Getting a lot of rares. Five packs left. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. That white tiger that sees all. Pack number four. Oh, we got an ultra rare. Uh, number 100, the Fiend Mega Cyber. Not bad. <laughs> I would uh, rather use like a Call of the Haunted or a uh, Premature, but it's fine. Fine. At least I'm not cheated out of an ultra. So there might be one more ultra or, and potentially one secret rare left. So let's see. Cold wave. Hey, there we go. There's an ultra prima. I wanted one of these and I got it. And this is awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. Premature burial. All right, two packs left. Here we go. Insect Imitation. <sighs> Can we end with a secret rare? <laughs> if we have not seen a secret rare, is it in this pack? No secret rare, but we did get a hollow, which I, which is hard to come by in these old school packs. 101, I don't know why I'm looking it up because I played with this Gear Freed the Iron Knight many times. I made a deck profile uh, around him, Gear Freed the Iron Knight, awesome Joey card, um, and awesome hollow to pull. Unfortunately, they get a Jinzo um, or Imperial Order, but I mean, we got Prima and Gearfreed the Iron Knight there at the end to save the day and I, I like some of the other cards here as well So I'm just gonna do a recap of the hollows and rares that we pull So we got Gearfreed, Prima, Fiend Mega Cyber, some rares here Gravity Bind, Nobleman, I, I never had a super rare of that so that's pretty cool Mirror Wall I have a lot of commons of that uh, fe um, fairy meteor crush and then limiter removal for our machine support so that's it let's see which one I would put on the front I'll put I'll put gear Freed on the front you see he has a sick artwork <clears throat> excuse me he has a sick artwork <laughs> um, so yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys like this 
um, shout out for my uh, 3D printed box here. Uh, you can find that on my Etsy channel that I'll be posting in the description um, that you can just pop off here and just snap it back on the top and you can show your favorite card in the front of the deck. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for your support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.